Hey, what's up guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope each and every one of you is doing well. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at one of, if not the cheapest, Glock 19 Gen 3 slide available. This is D from Desert Tactical. Welcome to the channel. All right, so in case you missed it by the thumbnail, we're gonna be talking about the Combat Armory Glock 19 Gen 3 RMR Cut Stripped Slide. This slide was 89 bucks on Combat Armory's website. Let's go to the tabletop and look at what we got. Okay guys, so for those that care about packaging, it came in this white box, wrapped in this blue bag, covered in oil, so nothing fancy there. So as far as the slide, my first impressions, it's not too bad for 89 bucks, it's looking pretty good. I don't feel or see any rough edges or burrs when it comes to the milling. However, I did notice very, very minor Hardly even noticeable tooling marks right here and some under the hood on the front of the slide. Again, very minor, barely even noticeable. I don't think it'll affect function in any way, shape or form. As far as the slide itself, it came in with rear and front serrations, some panels right there. I'm guessing if you want to engrave something, that would be the place to do so. The dovetail for the rear sight, pretty nicely clean cut as well as the RMR milling or for your plate right there. The front sight hole right there, it's looking pretty good. Nicely clean cut as well. So the strip slide came in already with a channel liner. I found that to be odd because usually once you buy a stripped slide, it will not come with anything. This one did come in with a channel liner already installed. So I do have a complete upper parts kit ready to go for this slide, including a barrel, recoil spring, tall sights, and optic. Let me go ahead and throw those on there. All right, guys, so there it is. My Combat Armory Glock 19 Gen 3 RMR cut slide assembled, put together, and ready to go. I wanna mention that the dovetail here was milled very, very tight. I had to file down the metal insert for the rear sight to go all the way in, but got it on there, good to go. So as far as parts, these are just tall sights. This is the Solisi Oak 3MOA RMR footprint optic. As far as the barrel, this is from AIM Surplus, stainless steel, nine millimeter, of course. The recoil spring is from Palmetto State Armory and the upper parts kit is a mix of KM Tactical and Combat Armory parts. So the only piece that's missing now is a frame. I'm gonna rock the Palmetto State Armory dagger frame. So let's throw that on there, see how it looks and go from there. There it is, you guys, the Combat Armory slide on the PSA dagger frame. Everything seems to be working well together. That being said, I haven't shot this build just yet, but I have cycled some snap caps through it and everything seems to be in good working order and in safe operational condition. What I wanna show you guys is the trigger pull on this build. Here is the magazine, no ammo, and the weapon is clear. This is one of my trigger builds with the P80 shoe. Here is the scale zeroed out and I got this bad boy breaking at a hair under four and a half. That is a really good pull weight. My sweet spot is between four and four and a half. So I'll definitely take that. The only thing left to do now is to go out to the range and test this build out. See you guys there. All right guys, made it out to the range with my combat armory slide build. Early morning, let's beat the heat and take some shots. All right guys, so I didn't know what to expect of it being such a cheap slide. However, it's kicking, it's going, but I do want to point something out. When there is no magazine and no ammo, when the gun is completely clear, there is a little bit of wobble and play from slide to frame. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but it's working, so let's keep on going. So I had a malfunction. First one right there, that is a jam. First one of the day, Let's clear it and keep on going. Guys, I've also been training with this level two holster that I got from Border Town Holsters. If you need a good quality holster, go to www.bordertownholsters.com. Tell them Desert Tactical sent you and it might hook you up.
All right, guys, let us wrap up on that combat armory slide, again, on the PSA dagger frame. I didn't have high hopes for this slide. However, it performed very, very well. In 150 rounds, only one malfunction. So I'll take that for a slide that cost 89 bucks. So what is the purpose of this build? It's gonna be strictly a range toy and a trainer gun, nothing more than that. So as always, you guys, I appreciate your support. Make sure you comment, uh, like, and if you haven't subscribed, hit that button as well. Catch you guys later. Peace.